The day is October 29, 2018, the day Owen Corporation released its ident for November 2018. In Jakarta, Indonesia, 181 passengers and 8 crew members are boarding Lion Air Flight 610, bound for Pangkal, Penang. In command is a 31-year-old captain who flew for Lion Air for more than 7 years. The co-pilot is Harvino, who flew more than 5,000 hours, much of it, on this airplane. The aircraft is a Boeing 737 MAX 8, which was registered as PKLQP. It was delivered to Lion Air on August 13, 2018. The plane takes off at 6.20 a.m. The flight to Pankal Penang is just around an hour long. A few minutes later, the plane enters stall recovery mode and becomes uncontrollable. The ATC lost track of Flight 610 as the 737 MAX 8 crashes into the Java Sea. Shortly later, rescue teams arrive at the crash site. Of the 189 people on board, there are no survivors. It is the deadliest plane crash involving a Boeing 737, surpassing Air India Express Flight 812, which killed 158 people in 2010. It is also the deadliest plane crash in Lion Air's 18-year history, and the second deadliest plane crash in Indonesia, behind Garuda Indonesia Flight 152, which killed 234 people on board in 1997. The cockpit voice recorder was found on January 14, 2019. Five months after 610 crashed, a similar accident, which involves the same 737 model, took the lives of 157 people. Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302 crashed near the town of Bischoff 2 six minutes after taking off from Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, bound for Nairobi, Kenya. They both share the same technical failure. The initial investigations have revealed that erroneous readings from the angle of attack sensors caused both planes to enter stall recovery mode, which led to disaster. The Flight 302 crash, which occurred on March 10, 2019, has caused much criticism for Boeing. It led to the grounding of the 737 MAX. It has officially been one year since the crash of Flight 610. Rest in peace to those 189 passengers who are on board that flight, and the others on board Flight 812, 152, and 302. <laughs>